Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Spider-Man. How much money do you think it costs them to make this incredible leather jacket with all its details and creases? How many man hours went into that what alone? Or did they scan it in with photogrammetry? It would still be expensive, but... Oh, it would be way, le uh, way less work than doing Sorry, it by hand. A one-of-a-kind Kake Monbaku. Oh, beautiful. It's a Mifune? Correct. Mr. Fisk has exceptional taste. Did you know him well before his arrest? In a professional context. I handled many of his sales. Let's move on, please. And this whole place is just lavishly detailed. Pay attention to this one on the left. We're gonna need to uh, observe now, the details. This exquisite piece exemplifies the traditional Tarashikomi puddled ink effect. The two Neo are so imposing. I can see why Fisk liked this piece. Definitely his style. He loved the duality. Destruction screams, but creation toils in silence. Was there ever anything irregular in any of the sales you handled for him? No. No, of, of course not. Not that I was aware of. So Mary Jane is a reporter for the Daily Bugle. The curator does not realize that. Notice the intricate gold inlay on this ceremonial tea set. It's just a friend in the DA's office mentioned that Fisk used art sales to launder stolen goods. I'm sure I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, I know. I was just wondering, now that he's arrested, if you had ever noticed anything strange. You know what? I'm actually running short of time. Why don't we grab the cover photo while we can? When I told my DA friend I was doing a piece on you, he mentioned your name was familiar. Just the photo, please. Stand right there. Are you sure there's nothing you'd like to say, maybe off the record, regarding Fisk's activities? I don't think your readers would have any interest in... Damn it. Wait here, please. Quickly, we must grab this photo. I recognize that statue. I gotta get a photo. But... Yeah, we just saw it. Greg, I'll call you back. My dear, I think it's time for you to go. Oh, um, could I use the restroom real quick? Fine. Follow me. Thank you. This... This is a really lovely space. It is. And this will be the last time you see it. The ladies is around the corner. Be quick. Of course. Be right back. She is not good at this undercover thing. Hello, Craig. Funny you should call. Because the reporter you sent is clearly not working the puff piece we agreed upon. No, she's here now. I've got to get into that back room. If that statue is what I think it is... Last time, I said the weakest part of the game story. is the stealth. And I mean that. Many people think Wait. that these bits are, which if this is a, a bit of a stealth turn. sequence, but it, not the kind that I mean. Uh, I'm more talking about when you're playing as Spidey. No, I do but here, uh, these this. bits, where you're playing as other unpowered well, characters... Do is have misinvestigative journalists arrested. I, I can understand why the people don't like them. Do a lot of the heads. fun Dead isn't being space. Peter, for example, it's being Spider-Man. It's the sick he, air combos, it's gadgets, it's the crazy web-slinging, and the freedom of it. And then suddenly you're grounded, so I get the backlash. You have no powers here, you're ordinary but you still do what you can to make a difference. That's so important He's to to something. illustrate. These sections help make the game's whole entire point. By the way, take note of uh, the position that, that everything move. is in on the Most Guardian statue. Latent power. Mouth closed. Mouth Left closed. Right palm facing forward. Yep. Hmm. But something is missing from uh, the... Hand on our right. These pieces move. And everything else, it's holding something. But yeah, it's the whole point. Maybe 
Is White playing sections as Peter himself or MJ or a character we will run into later uh, is so important. You put them on the ground, on even ground with everyone else. But it looks different. Spider-Verse makes that point really well too. Miles isn't like preternaturally talented or specially ordained to be Spider-Man. He's not particularly special compared to anyone else. He was just lucky enough to be the one who was bitten by the spider. There are others just like him in every dimension, too. Hell, when Peter died, Spider-Man didn't die, just the man. Because someone else lucky enough to receive the same powers could put on the mask, and they would be Spider-Man. Anyone could be. That was the point of that movie, and it's kind of the point they make here. Spider-Man isn't above anyone. And what better way to say that in your gameplay than by having you not always play as Spider-Man. Play as other characters who do their own part, make a difference in their own way. I think I just had to adjust the statue before it would let me come over here and pick this piece up. Short and pointy on both ends. So now we stick it in the left hand and everything else is in place. Devil's breath. What is devil's... What the... Excuse me, sir. You, you can't be... Not good. Where's the statue? In... in... in, in there. I was on my way to the exit when I saw you. You're lucky to be alive. This is the guy I saved five minutes ago. Listen, whoever these masked guys are, they're after this file. But I'll never get it out of here while the place is swarming with them. Right. Okay. Um, you hide back there. I take out the bad guys. You make a break when it's clear. Sounds like a plan. Good to see you, Pete. Yeah, you too. Not exactly how I pictured us meeting again, though. Funny. It's exactly how I pictured it. Did she change her perfume? Focus, Pete. Focus. I really like their relationship in this, or clear these guys out lack thereof, their forward. friendship in this. It's pretty nice how they get along and how they understand each other. Okay, Pete, I'm hidden near the front. Give the word and I'll make a break for it. Will do. How about that file? What's in it that these guys want? Oh, there he is. Notes on something called Devil's Breath. Fisk was hired to build a secret research lab for it. Not clear what Devil's Breath is, but it seemed to scare Fisk. He compares it to Pandora's box. Not much shook Fisk. We need to get you and that file out of here. Hang tight. So we cannot alert any of them, just like before, uh, because they will kill the curator. So we have two more, uh, two more of the demons in this room. We will learn way more about this faction uh, pretty soon. Okay, room is clear. So that leaves this next room. We just have to get up somewhere. There we go. Nice lighting rig. They're leading her off into the next room. Leaves a few more guys in this room. They'll pull them apart, and we can take them out individually. Now I think... There's, what, two more? Over here? Oh, no. So then how do I get into the next room? Because I don't go through the door, I know that. 
Um, not seeing a vent. I thought there were more dudes in here. Keep it tight, Pete. Maybe I will just walk through. Oh shit, there was one. I somehow kept missing him. Like I think he was his red outline was behind the statue the first time, and then I just had the exact wrong camera angle when I was right up above him. Okay, it's fine, though. This is supposed to happen. Stop! No. Hide! Not cool with the hostage taken, guys. I don't give a doubt, man. Whoa, what is up with that glowy stuff on Whoa. your hands? Are you guys ghosts? Never fought a ghost before. This is probably not true. I haven't come across anything yet, but I'm... I mean, I've fought some vectors, but, you know... Spider-Man's been around for decades, so I'm willing to bet at some point, knowing comic books, he has most definitely fought a ghost or two. Uh, if you want to like post examples in the comments of times that Spider-Man has fought a ghost, either in, uh, in cartoons or comics, hit me up with that. I'm down to read about Spider-Man just punching the shit out of some ghosts. Oh, it's a cool takedown, too. This is a little bit of an awkward spot to fight since you can't get that much height. And that's a cool weapon. Enchanted with some magic bullshit. These dudes are, oops, they're essentially the taser enemies that we fought in the Fisk construction site hideout for the first time. Uh, they behave more or less the same way. If you attack them from the front, they'll just counterattack with their big cool fucking Dark Souls enchanted weapons. Oh, nice. So you can web them up, or you can uh, get over to them and launch them. Also, haven't been using my impact webbing, which helps. Daily cardio? Check. Huh. Looks antique. I think I know someone who could help track down where this came from. A job for later. I just talked to Craig. You are not the reporter he was sending. You don't even work for Heritage Arts. Never said I did. Hi, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. You, you will not write a word of what you saw. For the here. record, what do you know about the file those masked men stole? <laughs> that I, I don't. What about the long history of stolen goods Fisk has laundered at this auction house? Your editor will be hearing from our attorney. Mix. <laughs> like the last six months never happened. Since when did Mix become Italian? No idea, but I'm still glad he makes these fries. Totally. Best in the city. So, how's the grind at the Bugle? Hmm. Well... Yeah, well, I just got an all-caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. Uh, as soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, creepy mask, guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's how's it going with you? Did did you get that promotion? 
No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Sure, but Dr. Octavius's work will help millions. I'm, I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Almost sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A lot can change in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends? Is that what we are? I Maybe mean, we could be, you know, if, if, if that's what you wanted. <laughs> There's a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things, too, like, uh, like money and uh, keys, and raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites. It's so, so nice they have this Stanley cameo in here. Uh, that's going to do it for now, though. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and ring the bell and check the description. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.